You're out on the trail or in the backcountry and the weather turns bad or you get lost. Now what? A principal aspect of staying alive under stress is proper preparation. Okay, because survival is 90% psychology. That means take a survival pack with you, including extra clothes, water, and food, as well as simple items that can help keep you alive, like a poncho or a garbage bag, iodine to disinfect water, and a reflective blanket. So how this one, I might use it in a cold weather situation, is to unwrap it and get myself out of the cold winds and out of the snow or out of the rain and huddle up against that tree or whatever else I had, and now I'm also more visible to search and rescue personnel. Other small, easily carried items you might want to bring along are a magnesium bar with a striking tool and petroleum-soaked cotton balls. These can be used to start what could be a life-saving fire. So what I've done is I take a cotton ball out, split it open to expose the dry center, and hit it with this magnesium striker. So here's how it works. Turn this around, have the cotton ball ready, hit it with the spark, and that thing will burn for five or six minutes. A fire can be used for not only warmth, but melting snow. You don't want to eat too much snow. You do have to have adequate water, but you don't want to have the hydration factor that would come from eating large amounts of snow. Eating large amounts of snow drops your core body temperature. And that's kind of productive to survival. A simple way to tell if you're getting too cold is touch your pinky to your thumb. So if you can't do this, or it's hard to do this, stop, light a fire, put more clothes on, do something, but it's a warning that you're losing your dexterity and your core body temperature's dropping. Try to remember STOPA. The S stands for stop, the T stands for think about the situation, the O stands for observe what you have around you for options, the P stands for make a plan, and the A stands for act. And that action might just be sitting there, waiting for rescue. I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.